Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I'm doing a follow-up review on the BC500 camera from Synology. Now, for those of you that I know are going to ask, Tom, aren't you in a sling? And you weren't in a sling when you first reviewed the camera, you'd be correct. I covered that in my vlog 341, motorcycle accident. If you don't want to go over and watch the vlog, if you want more details, it's in the vlog. Back to the topic here, though. The BC500 is a 2880 by 1620 camera that does 30 frames a second, and I've been testing it since March when I did my first review of 2023. At that time, we didn't have the pricing because it was pretty early, but that settled down to be 219 for this camera as of today, July 28th of 2023 on Amazon. Now, that sounds expensive, but you don't need a Synology license when you use a Synology camera with a Synology NVR, and they are also NDAA and TAA compliant so I've got all those details in my previous video about all the specs. What this video is about is how does that camera work in the real world several months later mounted outside? Because of course it worked for playing with it for a couple of weeks in my studio and uh, that's an easy part. But when you actually mount it outside and we've had numerous rainstorms and weather hitting it, etc., and night vision and actually mounted somewhere where it's got activity so we can track it. Well, let's talk about how it holds up for that. Now the camera does have an advanced system for doing detection of people and vehicles, making it a lot easier to find those events. And it does not require a special version of the Synology NVR. They're deep video analytics models in order to take advantage of it because it's done in camera. I'm gonna actually say that the camera has been really, really good, except you do have to definitely, as you do with most any camera, spend a little bit of time tuning it. I did find that the camera, well, was really sensitive out of the box and just went off a lot for detecting things, but it's not hard to swing it the other way. I'd actually rather have a camera too sensitive that I can tone down versus a camera that I max out in sensitivity and misses things. So not really a complaint, just something of note. I had to really put the thresholds down a lot less than expected. Now, as far as the audio quality, we'll do a sample here. This is about seven feet from the camera. This is how far up it is. This is 20 feet down and however many feet up the camera is. And video quality, I think though both of those are satisfactory with the resolution on there and the night vision looks pretty good too. Really hasn't been an issue. Now one really nice thing about this though is there have been several firmware updates that have come with this analogy. And this is a really convenient feature to be able to have the Synology download and push the firmware updates. And I like that I've gone through several versions of them and it's not caused me any drama. It's just automatically updated right through the Synology. So now the camera's always been on the latest firmware as it's been available. And it hasn't caused me any pain of having to log into the camera directly to do it. You do it all through the Synology. And I mentioned that in my other review, that's a big advantage that this has is deep integration with Synology. So any of the tuning settings that sometimes I have to log into my other cameras for, I've been able to just set right in a Synology settings and it will push those settings right to the camera. Now, for those of you asking you know, how does it hold up to maybe like an Amcrest or some of the other ones I reviewed, I would say it really does hold its own on those. I would say it's of the same quality and the extra features though, the not needing a license and having the detection that is better documented and better integrated than Amcrest is something I must say gives it a bit of an advantage. Now, I do have a separate video linked down below you'll find where I dive into some of the other cameras we've used and some of my thoughts on them for those of you looking at some of the alternatives. But I would definitely say we plan to purchase a lot more of these because we do a lot of Synology surveillance station solutions for clients. And this is a welcome member of this. So we've actually got a few more coming uh, for another project. So I will be doing some more videos as we deploy these. But I definitely like that Synology's gotten into us. Now they also have their TC500, which is a little bit more similar camera, but it's a turret style instead of a bolt. It. I haven't tested those yet, but I'm confident they work as well as the BC500. A few more options because this is only a 110 degree horizontal wide angle. A few more options would be nice if Synology comes out with them in the future. So I look forward to it. I will say so far, even though it's only been about four and a half months of testing, they've built a nice quality product. Love to hear from you though. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Check out my other videos about Synology and some of the deep dives I've done on setting up surveillance station. And uh, let me know what you think of these or if you've, you know, considering a different camera system or what your thoughts are and what you would get. As I said, always love hearing from you. Like and subscribe so you see more content from the channel and I'll see you over in the forums. Thanks.